today we're at the Inka Dinka Do Studios of EK Success, and we're going to be working with clear stamps. Clear stamps have given crafters a whole new way to look at stamping. They're printed on an acetate sheet, and you'll be able to reposition your stamps there. So when you go to put them away at the end of the day, you'll be able to determine if there's anything that's left laying on the table or on the floor. All you do is just peel it away, set this to the side, and you're going to put it on a block. You'll see that the blocks come in several different sizes, and you always want to make sure that you choose the one that's the closest to your shape. If you go too large, it's going to rock. If you go too small, you're going to lose the edges. So what you want to do, just like Goldilocks in the bed, you want to make sure you have just the right size for your stamping. I'm going to put some ink onto my stamp. And there again, you can go either stamping to the ink pad or the opposite direction. Sometimes when you're working with a clear stamp for the very first time, you're going to notice that it resists. You're not going, you're going to have a slight little bubbling. If that would happen, just take it and wash it in warm soapy water. Don't ever soak your stamps because they could become milky and at which point it would defeat the purpose of clear. If that doesn't work, you can then always go over it with a pencil, the eraser of a pencil, just hitting the highlighted areas and you'll remove all that manufacturing residue. Again, you're going to hold your fingers on all four corners and position it just as you would with a wood stamp. And you come down and you'll see you get a very nice crisp image. You'll see that when I position the stamp on the block, I use the grid lines. The grid lines are printed on one side and you can actually feel if you rub your finger over it that there's a little bit of a groove. Always make sure you have your stamp on that side because if you do, it'll position it closer and you'll be able to get a better view of how close you are to your paper. It's much like the mirror on your car. Things are always closer than they appear. For this little bouquet of flowers, I use dye ink, but you can also use pigment, chalk, or even solvent. It's totally up to you, the preference. Uh, it, a lot of it depends on color as well as the application. If you see that as you stamped, your stamp did receive a little bit of staining. This has, clear stamps do have a tendency to stain a little more than a wood stamp because it is a man-made product. It isn't natural like Red Wilbur. Do not be alarmed, just wash it. You can wash this with warm soapy water if it is really stained, or you can use your crafter's liquid cleaner and a scrubber brush, or even uh, just a crafter's wipe will work. Don't be deterred from using clear stamps just because they have a tendency to stain. Uh, not only does the stain give it character, but as long as it is washed and dried thoroughly, it won't contaminate your next project. Another great thing about clean stamps and clear stamps is that you can store them a little bit easier than a wood stamp. Although wood stamps you can set on a shelf and use them as a piece of art, storage is always of the utmost importance to every crafter. So what you can do is you can take them out of the packaging, put them into a three ring binder and sheet protectors. You can put two in each protector and use them as a loose leaf. You can actually separate them by holiday or by theme and just keep them on your bookshelf like you would any other book. I hope you enjoy the Inka Dinka Do clear stamps as much as I do.